that I had in 1997. When I first walked on this campus, me and my guys, we was hanging out, we was laughing, we was chilling, and I'm gonna keep it 100% with you. One of the first things that I said to myself was, there was a college mantra that said it was seven women to one man. <laughs> and I said to myself, I'm gonna get my seven, and if anybody else don't want that seven, I'm gonna get that seven too. And that night, <laughs> a Magic Johnson documentary. <laughs> oh, and I said, Magic, his magic wasn't working that day. So immediately, <laughs> immediately, I said, I can't be on that. But when I went into the lunchroom, I met a gentleman by the name of Dr. Gaddis. You all going to meet him. And the first thing that he said that blew my mind, class haven't even started. It's freshman orientation. I'm ready to turn up. And he walks to me specifically, and this is what he says. He said, young man, all you have is just a minute, only 60 seconds in it, forced upon you. You did not seek it. You did not choose it. But it's up to you to lose it. You will suffer if you abuse it and give account if you use it. Just a tiny little minute, but eternity is in. What time is it? Spilling. 
The second is drilling. You know drilling. Kids, I need you to put this up. I need you to stack your shoes up. Drilling. Because when you walk into the classroom, the professors, they're going to make, they're going to drill you. This was the awesome place I learned leadership skills. I got the opportunity to speak. I was an orientation leader. Marco Mancini gave me an opportunity to do a lot. When people were saying, this ain't doing nothing but running off at the mouth, at the mouth he said, give them a mic. I see some leadership in them. Thank you for that, Marco. So drilling, when it comes to the drilling, I'm teaching you something. So you go from spilling, I can't hold on. Drilling, now I'm starting to take the control of my life. Now you came here to be addicted, not for drills, not for spills, drills, but to learn a skill. Learn, to get, learn a skill so that you can go into the workforce and do something phenomenal. After the skills, then come the bills. <laughs> <clears throat> But check this out. The last one is you have to tell yourself, I will. Every day, I keep this mirror with me. Every day, I will. I'm going to end it on this note because I don't want to take up too much time. But when I was getting ready to go away to school, because I was the first one in the family to do it, I grew up in a neighborhood on 78th and Polina. I'm going to tell you my address, 7831st South Polina. The name of the area, they, the unofficial name is called Killer Ward. That's what they call it. And so just for me to come out of that community, that was a lot. So when I come back to the neighborhood, individuals, they praise me like I'm King Kong. <laughs> Chief Keep. Okay, all right. Um, so, <laughs> um, so, so, so what ends up happening is my mother, she sits me down. Because my mama, she didn't have, she didn't have, she didn't have a formal college education, but she had PhD results. Yeah, that's some swag for you. She didn't, she didn't have the college education. But everything that she did, she had PhD results. So she sent me down, and this is what she says to me. This is what she says to me, Marco. She said, Vincent, I need you to do something. I said, what's that, Ma? She said, I need you, when you get your degree, I need you to do better. I need you to get this degree, and once you get the degree, I need you to operate in your field so well that no person living, no person dead, and no person yet to be born can do it better. I'm going to throw that at you again. She said, Vincent, once you get this degree, I want you to do it better than no person. I want you to perform at optimum level. I want you to do it so well that no person living, no person dead, and no person yet to be born can do it better. She said, can you do that? I said, yes. And this was the only thing that I did, and I'm done. I develop a lot of relationships with people. I'm going to leave you with these last two points. Individuals in here, you need to connect with every person that you can because every interaction is an interview. Every interaction is an interview. The first job that I received was just a person who I saw on Benedictine University. This person was quiet, but they was powerful. These individuals, I didn't even know that they parents, they own Uno Charter School, and she just saw me every day, and I would just speak, and she said, you want to hire him. She said, my mother owned the business. See, every interaction is an interview. We don't want to burn bridges, and we don't want to burn down, and we don't want to build walls. But what we want to create is an oasis. Oasis, O-A-S-I-S. What that literally means is open and share ideas safely and securely. That's the first thing. Number two, which is significantly important, I really want you to capture this. Don't spend quality time with unqualified people because they're disqualified where you're trying to go. <laughs> because because every relationship is taking you somewhere. Because if you spend time just kicking in here, they're gonna kick you out. I knew a lot of individuals, they just came, they party. And I said, man, you don't take out twenty thousand dollars to kick it and party. But my best experience was here. I learned a lot. Creative relationships with I mean long lasting relationships. Dr. Gaddison, Linda Owens, uh, a gentleman by the name of Brian Tracy. He said something to me, and I know I keep saying I'm about to wrap it up, but I'm I'm definitely have to end with this. He told me something, and I will never forget it. He said, Listen, I keep two two things in my front pocket. I said, What's that? He said, I keep an I will and an I won't. 
He said, so when I when a challenge comes, I go into my right pocket and they tell me, okay, I will do this. And there's gonna be some people who say, you know what? We got the keg in the, uh, in the dorm. I'm going to the left pocket. I won't. My name is Vincent E. Gray and I approve this message. <laughs>